no names yet. We don't have a name yet. But he's two days old and we're going home today. Yes, we are. We are going home. Want to show them the hospital room that we've been in? Sure. We just took a little pause in the video because baby got hungry. But as I was going to say, this is our hospital room if you want to show. We actually got really lucky because we got a room to ourselves for the second night. But the first night, the room we had to share with like someone else and there was a curtain in between. And what, it was probably like half the size of this room I'd say? Maybe? And like the curtain, there was like a double curtain and they were right on the other side. So it was quite annoying because every time their baby would cry, our baby would cry and it just sets them off. So we were very lucky to get our own room the second night and then there's a toilet here and it just shares with someone else but yeah that's our little room and baby's about to get this blood test and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna sleep in our own bed tonight and start our own little life yeah you're so cute i'm so in love have no idea what I've recorded or if I've even said hello in my previous videos so if I haven't hello welcome to this vlog um I really wanted to record baby coming home but we got home it was late and everything just kind of went chaotic we were so tired and we went to bed really early so it's actually the second day we've been home for a full day and I just thought I'd sit down and give you guys a little bit of an update on everything because so much has happened already in the day I've been home. So let me put this down and have a seat. Okay, so like I said, we've been home for a whole day, a whole night. We spent our first night home as a family and it was an amazing experience, but very overwhelming. As you can imagine right now, we've got Bubba sleeping in his cot, um, which is right next to our bed. And we are naked. We got home, everything is a mess. We've got things everywhere, and it's just because we're trying to find a normal, just trying to find ourselves with a newborn. It's all new, but it's okay, we're getting there. We're, you know, every second, every mistake that we make, we're learning from it, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I just thought I should. You know just give you guys a bit of an update to let you know that we are home and i did want to record straight away when we got home but like i said we were so tired we went to bed our night was all right um he slept for a good two hours and i got a nap and then um jamie and i did shifts so then i had him and jamie went for a nap and he, he was with me he did not settle uh he cried for like three hours he wouldn't latch, it was horrible, and then I ended up waking Jamie up and I was like, help, I can't do this. Um, I'm also in, you know, still a bit of a mount, still a bit of pain. I need to remember that I gave birth only four days ago, but I will do a birth story and I'll talk about the birth and the hospital. There's so much I want to tell you guys because like giving birth in a different hospital and well giving birth in New Zealand is different to 
you know, giving birth in America, I'm sure of it. So it was an experience in itself. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of wrap this up quickly. Um, we're about to make dinner. Hopefully we've just put baby down. So hopefully he stays asleep for an hour and then he will most likely wake up, get a feed, and then we're all gonna try go to sleep and do something different tonight, change it up and see what works for us. Anyway, I am gonna clean up Get myself sorted while baby is sleeping and get as much done as I can. Bye.